Hey everyone, my name is Chloe and today I'm here to talk about my February TBR, which seems crazy to me. Like I don't, as a kid, I remember the years like stretching on forever and ever. And now here we are, like as an adult, it goes so fast. It like, this has been such a long month because of weather and just all the things, sickness, all the things, but also like it's gone so fast. So February, I have a small TBR, I think. I'm going to do, so I'm going to do my book I'll revisit, which may or may not be large. I don't know. I'm filming this Janu in January, January 26th, and um, I have not watched that video yet, so I don't know. But so um, I'm going to keep it kind of small, I hope. But my plan, I have I have a few plans, so let's talk. Um, I'm going to be doing the X's and O's readathon, uh, which is February 1st through the 5th. So the, right, out, right out of the gates, uh, February 1st through the 5th. This is hosted by... Uh, Jordan from Sorry Book Solid, um, Lena's Bookshelf, and a handful of other people. I will link um, one of their announcements down below. A bunch of people um, host this, but they do it in teams. So you pick a team, and um, that's how you do it. So I'm going to be on Jordan and Lena's team, which is Team X. So I think they do Team X and Team O's. I'm going to be on Team X, which just means you have different prompts. So um, the first prompt is a romantic suspense. So I'm going to be reading. I should have left this a little bit closer to me, but I'm going to be reading Chill Factor by Sandra Brown. Um, so this one, obviously, I got for $3 at... Uh, half price books and have yet to uh read this this is in large print so um i i personally really like that but it makes it super long um but i don't know really anything about this except that it's a favorite of um quite a few people and i bought it and was really excited and have yet to read it so um in the past two years five women have disappeared from the quiet little town of cleary north carolina were they murdered or kidnapped nobody knows their clever abductor never leaves any evidence just the simple calling card of a blue ribbon to show he has claimed another dark prize. With Cleary's residents paralyzed in fear, the heat is on for police chief Dutch Burton. And the timing couldn't be worse. For Dutch's wife, Lily, has just left him after eight years of a tur turbulent marriage. Her last act in Cleary... Her last act in Cleary is to finalize the sale of their mountain cabin. Trying to outrun a snowstorm, her car skids and crashes into a man. Um, she recognizes him as a man she'd met before, helps him to a cabin, tries to get help. Um, driven by jealousy, Dutch pulls out all the stops to rescue her, but heavy snow foils every attempt. As the hours mount for the trapped pair, Lily begins to suspect that Ben isn't who he claims to be. And her greatest threat isn't the raging blizzard outside, but the man right beside her. Um, so sounds like a really good read to read while it's still cold. And um, thankfully, it's been raining like crazy. So the snow is almost gone here. But um, yeah, good time of year to read this. So this is what I'm going to be reading for Romantic Suspense. Then we've got, let's see, um, prompt number two, red on the cover. So hold on one second. So I'm going to be reading uh, Christmas at, in Peachtree Bluff. So this is by Christy Woods and Harvey. This is a four book series and this is the fourth and final book. And I like kind of want to not read it because I don't want it to be over, but it's about three sisters and their mother. And all three sisters have different things going on. Um, so each of the e each of the sisters loosely gets a book and then this is uh, a Christmas conclusion. So I'm really excited. Um, who says you need to read Christmas in December? in January or December really I didn't read much of it but I'm reading some in January and February so here's that um next is a book with two people on the cover so I'm going to be reading A Winter in New York by Josie Silver honestly I got this from book of the month with no idea really what it was about um I just loved some of Josie Silver's other things so um this is a young chef stumbles upon a secret family recipe that might lead her to the love and life she's been looking for um I really don't need to know any more than that I'm I'm excited um New York City uh, a, uh an ice cream store I think Je uh, I don't know, Gel gelateria, gelato, Gel I don't know. Um, so it's a, 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 a ice cream store. We'll call it that. An ice cream store catches um, her eye and they think it's part of uh, something that was in photos from her mother's. And so I think she's trying to figure that out. I think it's going to be a romance. Like I said, don't really know. Excited to try it. It'll be a cute little romance. Um, so then the last prompt, because it's only five days, you guys. So this is a lot. Um, roll a dice. And so the um, if you get even, you have to read the newest book. And if you get odd, you have to read the oldest. So you guys, this is the dice I have. We I use this with the kids and it's huge. So I'm going to take a video of me rolling it and we'll see what it is. Okay, here we go. 
It's odd. Okay, it was odd, which means uh, the oldest book on my shelf. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's pull up Goodreads here. And I'm not going to share my screen. I'm just going to see what I can see. Um, I don't know. this Because of my, my uh, book haul revisits, I feel like I don't have a ton of really old things. But some of the – well, that's not true. I hauled a lot of these uh, before – before booktube so let's see on my bookshelf i have a, a shelf on goodreads um called on my bookshelf and it's not the most accurate but it, it'll give us some some clues so uh we have perfect match by jody pico i'm pretty sure i've read that though and picture perfect uh, mr maybe by jane green um, these are all November of 2016, Spring Fever by, uh, Mary Kay Andrews or Summer Rental. So I think what I'll do is one of those, um, well, because I think I've read the Jodies, honestly, maybe not. If I haven't read the Jodies, I'll do those. Um, but otherwise I'll do either Summer Rental or Spring Fever by Mary Kay Andrews. So that sounds fun. I mean, that sounds like kind of fitting for the readathon. So Let's do that. Okay, so now the other half of my TBR is, um, so that's the X's and O's readathon, first through the fifth. We'll see if I can get all those books done. I don't really know. Um, but now we have NetGalley. And you guys, I have gotten into trouble on NetGalley like I do. I don't know why I do this all the time, but I do. Um, like I don't get on NetGalley very often, honestly. But when I do, I can't stop clicking. I honestly, like, get myself into trouble. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine books on NetGalley. So um, we're going to read them. So let's just talk about them real quick. Um, my kids and husband just walked in the door, so we're going to talk about them real quick. Okay, so four weddings and a puppy. When two childhood friends uh, return home after their sports careers don't go as planned, a puppy just may give them a second chance at happiness together. She's always been the girl with the plan until the plan crashed big time. Um, Kendall Walsh has exactly one second to save a fancy five-tiered wedding cake and possibly and the possibility of being a wedding planner not to mention her family's struggling ski resort all because of one very cute very furry golden menace of a golden retriever so um it sounds like a really cute romance that one actually came out uh in november so not super new but there we go um then we have the girl on the news um, again, I like clicked all these and like don't even remember what they're about, but this is by Elizabeth Carpenter and the blurb says, is my, is this child, is this missing child my daughter? Um, so this is my heart pounds as I take in the headline, missing girl believed kidnapped. Underneath is a photo of my beautiful daughter, Mia, her gap tooth grin, unmistakable, but Mia's safe beside me, snuggled up on the couch. Why would someone pretend my child's been taken? I thought my husband, Mark, and I built a perfect life with our precious daughter, Mia. She's everything to us. I thought we were finally safe from the past, but I know Mia's picture on the news means someone has uncovered who I really am. So I don't know much about that, but uh, it sounds super interesting. So we'll see. Now we've got Only If You're Lucky by Stacey Willingham. Um, this one I like am just excited about because I have read all of Stacey Willingham so far. She's only got two other books. Um, but she, yeah, I've read them both and enjoyed them both. Not loved them both, but enjoyed them both. And so this one is about Lucy Sharp. Um, she's larger than life, magnetic, addif addictive, bold, danger uh, dangerous, especially for Margot, who meets Lucy at the end of their freshman year um, in college. And so then I think... Um, Margo is the shy one, the careful one, the sidekick and Margo's friend, I think had like her high school friend had died. And so Lucy singles her out at the end of the year. Um, and yeah, wants Margo to come out of her shell. And then I think, um, it's a group of friends and, uh, yeah, frat boys, one of the frat boys, um, is killed and what is all their roles? I don't really know. Like I said, Stacey Willingham, I'm excited to try it. Um, next is No One Can Know by Kate Alice Marshall. I actually do have this one upstairs, but um, I, I got it from Book of the Month. And let's see what this one is about. I think this is about three sisters. Actually, I know this one's about three sisters. And um, one of them is pregnant, come on hard times financially. And they inherited together their parents' house where their parents were supposedly killed. And so... Um, they have to go back to that house because that's the only house they have and work out some familial issues as well as figure out what happened to the parents because I think our main character is the one kind of accused of doing it. So, yeah, there's that. 
Then we have One in a Millennial by Kate Kennedy. This is a nonfiction. Um, one in a Millennial. Let's see. One. I'm trying to read the synopses on Goodreads, and this is not working out for me. But uh, One in a Millennial. Not pulling up. Goodreads, you guys, if you don't use Goodreads, if you use Storygraph or something, sell me because I really don't want to change things, but I like feel like I need to. Um, so this is one, one in a Millennial on friendship, feelings, fangirls, and fitting in. So from Pop Call... Pop culture podcaster and a voice of the generation, Kate Kennedy, a celebration of millennial zeit. I don't know. Um, it's an exploration of pop culture, nostalgia, the millennial, um, the life lessons learned for better and worse and coming of age as a much maligned generation. So um, I don't really know anything. I've never heard of this podcaster, but I think it's interesting as I think I'm a millennial. I think. I'm mid thirties. Am I a, am I am I a millennial? I don't know, but I think it'll be interesting. Um, she tackles AOL instant messengers, purity culture, American Girl dolls, going out tops, Spice Girl feminism, um, so many things that I think will be really nostalgic for me. And um, yeah, I'm excited to read that. Then we have On a Quiet Street by Carla um, Carla Kovac. So this one, every family has its secrets. Some are more deadly than others. I live on a quiet tree-lined street with my perfect husband, Kane. But when 18-year-old Charlotte knocks on the front door, what she says has me questioning just how well I really know my husband. I was adopted as a baby, and I'm looking for my biological parents. I was told they live here. Um, so, yeah, I don't want to know very much more than that, except, like, the unexpected baby, uh, 18-year-old. And I'm guessing she'll be, like, maybe have sinister uh, intentions or maybe her husband has a sinister past. I don't know. Um, then we have Bye Bye, ba Bye Baby by Carola Lovering. So she writes what I would say is more dramas. Um, I don't know. They're suspensey. Maybe not. I I've read her other books and really liked them. Um, this one is about a missing baby, a fraught friendship, a secret that can never be told. On a brisk fall night in a New York apartment, 35-year-old Billy West hears terrified screams. It's her lifelong best friend, Ca Cassie Barnwell, one floor above, and she's just realized her infant daughter has gone missing. Um, Billy looks is shaken as she looks down in her own arms to see the baby, w remembering with a jolt of fear that she's responsible for the kidnapping. So what? I don't I don't know. I want to know more about that. Goodness gracious, that sounds like a lot going on. Okay, then we have doing it all, uh, stop over functioning be and become the mom and person that you're meant to be um, by Whitney Casares, maybe. And this one um, is an interesting one. It says, discover how to stop doing it at all and start doing what matters with a step-by-step -step guide to beating burnout and thriving as a working mom. So I'm not a working mom. Um, I stay at home with my girls, but I feel like that burnout and trying to do it all is is um, something we can like all relate to. And so I, I like to, this is an audiobook, and I like to listen to those just in case I get like a nugget of wisdom um, that, and just reminders that like you don't have to do it all. I'm guessing that's what is going to happen, what's going to come from this, but we'll see. I, um, like I said, I like to listen to those every now and again, even if it's nothing new, it's kind of nice. And then uh, last is Like a Mother by Mina Hardy. And I've never read this author before, um, but let's see, Mina. Um, this is <laughs> this is a book um, about, let's see, a nail-biting psychological suspense um, about the bonds of family, perfect friends of Lisa Jewell and Geneva Rose. That's really, I didn't, I haven't read the Geneva Rose, but um, I, that Lisa Jewell, I'm a big fan. So Sarah and Adam Morgan have the perfect suburb suburban um Beautiful house, adorable daughter, baby on the way, once in a lifetime love. They were the couple everyone envied until Adam died. In the wake of his death, Adam's secrets begin to emerge. Um, so the first comes out when a woman named Candace introduces herself to Sarah's Adam's mother. Um, Adam has always said his mom was dead, so what's that about? Uh, Candace, uh, yeah, so there's there's m mama drama. So those are all my net galley books in a really unorganized and ungreat way. But I think what I'm going to do is do a Patreon only um, vlog of some of those net galley books. So if you are interested in hearing, um, I mean, I'll talk about them in my wrap up. So you don't need to join Patreon, but I will vlog um, my experience reading them and, and lots of details. So if you're always, if you're ever interested, um, there is a link to my Patreon down below where you can um, see kind of those all come out, I think, in. Um, January between January and March and so um bunch of new releases coming out if you want to hear my opinions head on over we would love to have you over there so uh that's everything that I plan to read in February what do you plan to read um have you heard of any of these books uh, some of these were not even on my anticipated list 
but click, click, click. Obviously, I don't even remember the synopses, but they all are exciting to me. So there's that. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one and have a good day.